Hello everybody! Today we get an off-road go-kart going. Woo doggy! A buddy of mine has been working on a, uh, a, a go-kart for somebody and he said that the guy wants to sell it. So he told me a uh, price that he would take for it. Oh, turtle. Look turtle. Look at that turtle. You want me to move him? Yeah. Dude, he's him. got moss all over him. He does. Him. Cool. What's up, buddy? No, you're good. Look at him go into his shell. Box turtle? Yeah. He needs to go somewhere. Well, he was going that way, so should we put him that way? Right. I don't know. It's kind of waterlogged. I guess we scared the piss out of him. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for the brief interruption, but a lot of people have been requesting that we build a go-kart with a suspension. Well, we're not really building this one, but we are getting one. A big reason we have not built a lifted go-kart or something with suspension is because it's super, super easy to put it up on two wheels and flip it. But I put Taylor's go-kart on two wheels. Yeah, that one's not even that high. Twice. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, the opportunity arose and it's gonna be awesome. I gave the guy 200 bucks for it, which is, well, I haven't seen it, but <laughs> if it's all there, it's a freaking steal. It's so, all there. Yeah, we're gonna see when we get there. But uh, I'm really excited, it should be awesome. And now we observe the wild Isaac in his natural habitat, pumping gas into his gas guzzling tow truck. Oh, I think he spotted us. Oh, no, hi, run, no. We just got to Ike's buddy's house and we're here looking at the go-kart. And this is actually where my racing cart came from too. Uh, when Ike bought it off his buddy here, it came from right over here by the shed. There it is. Yeah, I got this. Nice. Dude, it's got a pod on it. Yeah, I want to say my buddy had one of these a long time ago. Dude, this thing's pretty nice. She got a suspension. Dude, it's got turn signals? What? High beam, low beam? Are you serious? A horn? This thing's nice. No air. Is this the gear shifter? Uh, it's a two-speed, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know anything about this thing. It's got seat belts. Yeah, I could definitely see a, see a 420 on this. Yeah, she's a little thing. Yeah, she's tiny. Especially, you know, if that's the motor and transmission in one. That's motor and transmission. That's what it looks like. Dang. It almost looks like a 50cc. I, I hope it's bigger than that. I don't know. Dude, look how small the uh, exhaust is. Yeah. That's got to be restrictive. It's 107 cm3. 107. 107 cm3. Yeah. She got oil. got oil in her. I think we'll be able to do something with this. Sure. I mean, what, this engine or this car? The cart, man. Can both of us sit in it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's important. Ah. <laughs> uh, you have to roll it out. Ooh. Ooh. She's tight. It's kind of tight in here. But it'll work. Say, <laughs> so I look stupid. Oh, come on, <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, they hold that. Nice. Just that break right there. We'll yeah. Should I get you a to rebuild them? Yep. The front right brake is frozen up. <laughs> Leaving a streak down the yard. Cool. Got a lot of bells and whistles on it. So we got the go-kart back to the house um, and we started to kind of poke around and look at it. Uh, we realized that it had been hit pretty hard at one point. So we're going to need to fix that, but mainly it doesn't even have a spark plug, and a 212 spark plug will not fit in it. So we're here at the tractor supply, looking for a spark plug. 
This is gonna have to be some kind of weird mail order thing, isn't it? No. That's gonna be it. You sure? Not 100% sure. Okay. Yeah. I think you got it at the wrong angle. Alright. Um. Smaller. Doesn't fit, does it? Oh yeah, it's all cross-threaded and jacked up. Ah. Oh. But it's still smaller than the uh, spark plug we just got. The hole is smaller. So that means we can tap it. Yeah. If you take a look at it head on, you'll see that it had been hit pretty hard at some point. You'll see on the left side, facing it, it's kind of bent. What are you doing back here? She got spark. Cool. Uh, I'd like to try to just uh, find the spark plug that'll fit in there at first. Right. I don't want to spend all the time taking the head off and tapping it and all that stuff to find out that the motor's a total piece. Right. Well, I mean, I guess we need to just go for a ride and see if we can find a... Spark plug. Spark plug again. Okay. That's fine. Um, Smaller than the one we got. All right. Gosh, it probably is a special one. Yeah. Ike is about to do something ridiculous, and we have to get it on video. Yeah. I guess I figured out why this go-kart was parked the uh, spark plug hole is stripped out and we'd really love to hear it run tonight uh, so what we're gonna do is we're I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this ya you who uh, drink and I'm gonna cut a little piece of metal out of it to kind of shove in the spark plug hole to shim it up if, if you want to say that but yeah <laughs> I don't know if it'll work but we'll, we'll give it a shot you look like you're about to cut yourself in eight different ways. <laughs> yeah. Don't try this at home, everybody. We are professionals. That's right. Oh man, I didn't cut it long enough. Yeah. Scary. Well, I'm gonna put some slime in the tires. Sounds good, buddy. We'll get back to you. All right. Here's your prize box. Thank you, sir. About to take this other stuck caliper off so we can spin the tire. <laughs> I got the spark plug in there with the Yoohoo can uh, as like a shim slash spacer. I want to hear this puppy fire. Wait, does it have gas in it? Did you put the starting plug in it? No, I didn't put anything in it yet. I just wanted to hear it turn Crank over, over. Okay. without a... Uh, without blowing the uh, spark plug out. Okay. Quiet. <laughs> and it's full. That is ridiculous. That is a tiny gas tank. Let's give it a shot. Let's. Hey man, go operate the gas. Yep. All right. So, uh, buddy John here is taking apart those, uh, brake calipers and cleaning them up. You got one done so far, right? Yep. I've been working on this uh, carburetor and uh, I couldn't get the bottom of the carburetor apart. Um, so I had to uh, slot these uh, bolts here have, uh, they didn't have a notch. You see the notch? I cut the notch in it so I can unscrew it. These are like a tamper-proof bolt. When you tighten them up on the carburetor, the heads actually snap off. All right, Ike, you got the carburetor back on? Yep. Rebuilt? Well, I wouldn't say rebuilt. <laughs> okay. Cleaned up. Cleaned up. 
And the brakes have been cleaned up as well, but they have not been put on yet. But yep. we're ready to fire I'm this thing up. I'm ready to hear it run. It's so quiet. Give it some gas. <laughs> and it died. You want freaking awesome. Yeah. All right, we're going to have to go for a little slow ride right around the yard. Yeah. I think it needs to be idled up a little bit. Oh, no, dude. She's just camming. That so slow. That's a stump puller. This chain is chunky, dude. Got a third gear? Just like, just think what would happen if we put a smaller sprocket on the rear end. I think all it's got is three. Okay. I mean, like, if we put a smaller sprocket on the rear end uh -huh. and did some modifications to the engine to get a little more horsepower out of it, yeah. might be a pretty fast go kart. I think the shifter only works going up. So first, second, third, and three. But it doesn't work the other way. Cable's broke? Yeah. Cable's broke. We're now bleeding the brakes. Trying to. Trying to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, Ike is bleeding the brakes. I'm All sitting right. in it and pumping the brakes. Oh, shoot. What? Here's where it's going. What? Is there a huge puddle? <laughs> it sucks that this thing is so gummed up. We're about to go on the maiden voyage of this here go-kart. The unknown CC <laughs> three-speed um, transmission two-seater. I'm excited because it's the first time we can go on a maiden voyage together. Two-seater. Uh, no brakes, no emergency brake. It'll be fine. Don't try this at home. Leaking fuel tank. Leaking fuel tank. It's just another day. No lights. You who can and the spark plug. <laughs> what else is new, man? Well, <sighs> don't be like stick my leg out. Nah, or it's fine, man. It's fine. You are. <laughs> you literally <laughs> have no room. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. First. First gear. First gear. <laughs> Oh. oh, yes, it's so slow. Oh, wow, it's getting dark. It is. Holy crap. Ooh. You want me to get a flashlight? Yes. We got some flashlights. They're pretty weak, but better than nothing. Yep. <laughs> 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 Oh no! Do you want me to like widen it out? No, nah, no, nah, it's fine. Do we want to get some speed on this? Sure. This is terrifying, dude. Yeah. This is like some horror movie stuff. Oh, <laughs> dude! <laughs> 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 First gear through the woods. All right, man. I know Bigfoot's out there. Cannot reach it. He's out there, dude. <laughs> Feel like I'm about to see Bigfoot. 
or the chupacabra or something. Ah, That's how we hit a oh, million subscribers. <laughs> Off roading, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, think we can make it back oh, up? God. That's a big stump. Big hole. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, the spark plug blew out. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> well, Dude, success! Yeah, maybe we ought to try a coke can next time yeah that was freaking awesome yeah well that's a bummer um it's freaking awesome now dude it felt like it was doing okay out here yeah i mean we didn't go back up the hill i was wanting to go back up the hill now we gotta push the thing yeah thing. yeah we'll just tap it we won't even pull the head off i'm not happy with the acceleration on this engine are you i mean no but we can always tweak it and stuff we can it. Look at that little tiny yeah, exhaust. Yeah, we can modify that. It's got to well, be a I little restrictive. Like how, I like how quiet it is. Oh, I do too. Because then the neighbors aren't like, yeah, yeah, those rotten kids. Yeah. <clears throat> um, we'll just tap it right on there and we'll blow the, we'll the shavings out. In. Yeah, we'll blow the shavings out. It'll be fine. And it'll be fine. Good morning, everybody. We've been out here for, what, a half an hour maybe? Yeah. Working on various things. I just did the shift linkage uh, so we can have backwards gears or show, so we can shift down and Ike is currently working on the uh, brake master cylinder. One of the pistons is stuck in so we aren't getting front brakes. But the most important thing we need to do in order to make this thing run is actually tap the uh, spark plug hole so we can get a spark plug that fits so we don't have to use a Yoohoo can. Oh yeah, you can get in brakes. Oh, yes, he said, yeah, buddy. Y'all all know that the spark plug blew out. Y'all all know that the, uh, the, the soda can didn't work for uh, keeping the spark plug in place. So we uh, stuck a one size up spark plug, one size up diameter. And uh, turns out that uh, it's some sort of weird 11 by 150 thread or something like that. My snap-on tap and die set wasn't equipped with it. What I decided to do was uh, use a die to cut the threads on the spark plug too. I wouldn't recommend that. That's, I didn't know it, but the spark plug was like hardened steel. It's a lot of juice there. I think it hit the spark plug. Really? Oh, yikes. <laughs> Dang, dude. Yeah, she hit all right. We're on the way to Lowe's to get a new spark plug because this one got destroyed by, by, the, uh, by the valves whenever we turn it over, which isn't good because we might have bent the valves. Not sure how well you can see about that, but that puppy is bent. Uh, and it doesn't spark anymore. Last night it was revving up nice. Yeah. Let's go for a ride. Let's go for a ride. All right, you want to be cameraman? I can be cameraman. All right, here oh. we go. Yeah. <laughs> How the brakes? Oh. We don't have rear brakes. That's third. We're going pretty good. Alright, you know what time is, right? Off roading. Off roading. Let's go for it. <laughs> Ditch right there, buddy. Are we gonna try it? Sure, why not? Well, easy though. 
Go for it. That's not bad. The nice thing about not having a lot of front end on it is that you get good, uh, you get good, uh, like clearance. You know, like you can go down at a good angle. Yeah. Like a champ. Oh, I spoke too soon. There we go. We're good. How to get that right? Oh, oh, oh. Not a race car. Well, I mean, it might have done a lot better if we didn't. Or if I didn't. If I didn't screw up the valve. Cool. All right, race that ready. Sounds pretty good. That looks kind of wet down there. Yeah. Uh, hey, let me get out, and uh, you can have it. Oh. Just you uh, a little bit. Have at it, buddy. I'm gonna try to go down there. Go for it. Is that it? Don't let her stall now. That was cool. Let me give it a shot. Just don't flip it. Uh, then you'll like really feel it. like a dummy. What? Don't like flipping it? No. I'm just saying, don't flip it. Oh, he's stuck. Oh, no. What were you thinking, dude? It is not. Wait for that VTAC to kick in. Yeah. Any second. Oh, yeah. Well, oh. I don't know about that, dude. I'll go for it. Straight up the thing. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the battery's dead. Yep. We're pushing. Why did you go wide open like that? We were doing the same thing. Maybe. We could try to push start it. You want to? Maybe. Let's. Oh, I ripped some wiring on the. Yeah, front. that's what I was saying. <laughs> It'll be fine. Go for it. Hey, go around to the left. You know, we ought to strap that battery. Holy crap, dude. Are you, dude, you are gonna hurt yourself. <laughs> oh, it's too late now, man. Seatbelt. <laughs> Say a word. Oh. Is 
so graceful. Oh, I posted a photo on Instagram asking how much you guys think we paid for this thing. The answer is $200, by the way, in case we didn't make that clear earlier. But if you haven't followed us on Instagram, go ahead. We post uh, all kinds of stuff as we're doing them rather than you know when you see them on YouTube, which is on Monday. So that's Cars and Cameras Reviews is our username. Go check us out, follow us. You'll be able to see all kinds of cool pictures before you see videos. I could use some more horsepower. I mean, first gear is pretty good, second gear is eh, third gear is pretty weak. Have we even seen what it feels like when it's run right? In third gear? We did for like a second last night, but then like we went way too fast. And yeah. You were like, where's the road, e, where's the road? That E3 spark plug, spark plug which adds 100 horsepower, at least. blew the spark plug right out of the hole. She was rejected. That's right. Just too much spark plug for this engine. I'd like to put some beefier tires on it. Yeah, yeah. Beefier tire. We've had our problems with it, but for 200 bucks, okay, more like 220 bucks since we bought like three spark plugs. <laughs> it's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Yeah, oh, and some tire slime. So $225. Pretty good. Pretty freaking awesome. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Makes me want to go on an excursion be a lot of fun. We can do it. Oh yeah. It was my fault that we bent these valves. That I bent the valves. I checked for clearance from the spark plug to the piston. Didn't think anything about the valves coming along and tapping the, the plug. That's what happened. The valves actually hit the plug, bent the plug, causing it to uh, it ruined the spark plug. It ruined too. the spark plug, but even worse, it ruined the valves. So uh, I will be pulling the head off and uh, fixing that. So It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I mean, like I said a minute ago off camera, when you fly so close to the sun, you can't help but get burned sometimes. Because we do say it'll be fine all the time. And it and, will be fine. And cut corners, yeah. But I gotta make it fine. Yeah, we, I mean, it just wasn't fine deal. this time, but we can still make it fine. Yeah, that being deal. said, don't try any of this stuff at home because you'll probably get burned like us. This I is for entertainment purposes only. That's right. We are professionals. Anyway, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check us out on Garage Amino at Cars and Cameras. That's one word. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Let us know what you want to see us do with this and, well... You can suggest V-Twin, Turbo 420, or whatever, but we're going to tell you now that it's not really in the budget or in the, in the room. No. It's actually pretty tight back there. Yeah. I think it would be cool to put, like, a larger uh, three-speed engine from, like, a dirt bike or ATV on it. Yeah, be cool. Because I really like the fact that we can switch gears. That's I awesome. love the gears. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you in the next one. Good job, man. I have, I have the other one without the suspension. Oh, yeah, that's right. That we have to go get. I'm pretty sure I said in this video in the beginning that we'd be getting two go-karts today, or yesterday. We only got one because that's all we had time for, plus we were both kind of excited to get to work on this one. Yep. Yeah.